welcome back to Reckless Millennial Wednesdays where we talk about how to handle money to secure your financial future. My name is Destiny. If you're new here, I upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. So today is going to be a shorter video than normal. I'm just going to be explaining why I have decided not to pay my student loans for the rest of the year, which is only like two months left, November, December. But as you can see in like some of my budget videos, if you watch my budget videos, I have been like putting student loans in there and then not putting student loans in there and then putting a payment and then not putting a payment. And that's just because I really had no clue where I wanted to go with like my debt free journey because just so much has happened this year. I have accomplished so much already with my debt free journey and I just wanted to like take it all in and just slow down for a second and just like say destiny you did big things you did things that people don't do you paid off your car you paid off your credit cards all of your credit line, lines of credit that you had online and like people don't do that and the only thing i have left is student loans and i know that some people have student loans left just student loans but not many of us have just student loan payments to make so that is very exciting for me but I have decided that I'm going to be saving the money that I get for my, well, saving the money that I get, saving money for my paycheck, just throwing it into savings because me and Nicholas are like trying to hunker down and be in like savings mode because we don't know what the future holds for us. So we are just going to save, save, save as much as we can instead of making humongous chunks of payments towards the student loans as much as I really really want to it's really not a smart move for us right now because I mean my job is stable but I just wanted to make sure that if my job ever becomes unstable that we will be fine and so does Nicholas obviously he wants to make sure we'll be okay and as far as the wedding goes uh, me not paying my student loans right now in this moment has nothing to do with the wedding whenever we get back to that book again like the both of us we will be paying half student loan half wedding and we'll be paying those at the same time and like being like gung-ho about it so with all that being said I'm gonna jump into an the next topic of the video which is going to be my Christmas like decor budget and I am I'll be revealing my budget next week in the November budget obviously because I have to spend money out of that budget to get the Christmas stuff because there was no money in last month's budget to get the Christmas stuff but what I do is I go I literally go online I see all the stuff that the stores have like Hobby Lobby at home big lots Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, all those stores, and I pick and choose what decor pieces I want, see how much they cost, and then make myself a budget of those. I do pick what I want like very selectively, so I'm not spending too much money because I don't need all of that stuff, but like I get the basic things. Like we have a new tree in there, so I need new ornaments for it, obviously, and so I budgeted for our ornaments. All right, so I'm at Hobby Lobby's website right now, and say I wanted to get some ornaments for my tree obviously we just got a new tree and i need ornaments for it so that would be a necessity for christmas for me so and christmas is very important to me i don't know why it's so important i love this holiday i just love like the whole thing that you know everything around christmas i just enjoy all right so like i said i'm at hobby lobby's website i go in i see which ornaments i want like let's say i want this pig ornament and it's two dollars and fifty cent right now it's on sale and I'm hoping that when I go shopping in the next two weeks that it will be on sale still. So I add it to my cart. I don't want this pink <laughs> ornament by the way. But I add it to my cart and then I see that it's $2.50 and then I go back to just shopping around and I see these little glitter balls. I'm going to say, oh yeah, I want those. And I actually do want these in a certain color. I want this color. The red, green, and white, because that's going to be my living room color. So I add that to the cart, and then I will hit checkout, and then I will go down and see how much it is with tax and everything. So if I wanted to buy these two things only for Christmas, my Christmas budget would need to be $19.45, and that is how I would do my Christmas shopping on each and every website. And then I already showed you guys how I do my gifts and how I organize those, so if you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. But that is really all it is to it when I do my... Christmas budget that's how I make it that's how I do it and I just go in see the things I want I have a general idea of what I want to spend in my head like let's say I want to spend $200 so I would like just determine like stores like Dollar Tree don't really have everything they have in store on the website so with that store I would just give myself a set budget of like $50 go in there 
see what I want. If I don't spend the whole $50, I need to save it. If I do spend the whole $50, I won't be hurt because that's what I budgeted for it. I have my Christmas tree up right here already because I'm already filming. Oh, hold on. So I already have my Christmas tree up. That's why I'm feeling in the Christmas spirit because I'm filming um, December. Oh, hold on. I'm filming December videos already because I work full time and I know that I'm not going to be able to get 25 videos out for you guys in the month of December, like just alone in that month because like Vlogmas is very intense in the editing and the uploading and the staying up all night. I can't do because I have to go to, you know, my, my actual job, like my full time job. So I am making sure that I get those filmed and pre-filmed right now for you guys and I'm so excited about them. Come back next week for my November budget. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button. Again, my name is Destiny. If you're new, if you're old, thanks for coming back and I will see you guys in the next one. The video is over.